everyone. We are testing something that I've been wanting to try for a really long time. And it's similar to something that I've used in the past. Do you guys remember when I tried this Himmy Jelly Gouache set? Well, this set here has 18 colors, which is a lot. I'm really thankful to have this one but I've seen the larger set being used online and it's just looked very fun. So this is the full jelly gouache collection. There are 56 colors and I'm really excited to try it out. Also look at the back of this. Doesn't it kind of remind you of a giant waffle maker? And then doesn't it make you want waffles? Chicken and waffles? Yeah. If any of you guys live in Columbus, and you've been to Sunny Street Cafe, they have the best chicken and waffles. <laughs> Got my evening coffee. Let's see what's inside. Oh, this is cute. I love that there's a little swatch card. Oh, so cute. This whole thing is so satisfying. Oh my goodness, there's two cards. I'm so excited. Okay, my hands look gross, but I just have gouache all over me. It's just how it's gonna be. The life of an artist. Okay, we opened all the paint cartridges. It took over 30 minutes, and now it's time to paint. First, let's open some of my washi tape. Just a side note, this stuff is so pretty. It's super glittery, and it is a continuous pattern from one of my ocean paintings. Let's tape off the edges of our sketchbook page. I want to do a fun little rectangular piece and then maybe swatch over here. Here's the royalty-free photo I think I'm going to use from Pexels. One of my viewers and friends of mine, Lilia, made me this cute little palette. So I'm going to mix colors on this. Okay, let's kick back, relax, get our art supplies out and create. I hope this video inspires you to create something with me. Feel free to drop a comment down below if you decide to make something. And yeah, let's have a beautiful day together. So I really needed some smaller brushes to tackle these projects. And luckily I had a brand new pack in my studio. So I'm using these for this piece. I already showed you my reference photo earlier and I'm just going straight for it here and layering colors. So something nice about this gouache is it layers very beautifully. I was really impressed with that because I didn't actually expect it to be able to layer this well without activating the layers beneath it. I did a layer of orange underneath because I'm going to try a different technique with this piece. I know I do that with my acrylic paintings, but what I'm going for with this painting is actually different than that. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have actually seen a sneak peek of this painting, by the way, but I couldn't wait to show it to you. <laughs> so something that I am striving to do more is to paint in my sketchbook because I think it releases a lot of pressure to create masterpieces. And that's one reason why I wanted to get this giant gouache set because a lot of colors are kind of pre-mixed 
and I can alleviate the pressure of mixing stuff. I don't have to mix a ton of colors and I can just dive into painting like right away. And sometimes that's nice. I love mixing colors and stuff for my paintings, but this is just, I don't know, it feels different. Do any of you ever feel that way? If something's already like pre-made for you? I don't know, let me know. <laughs> now, something I will mention about this jelly gouache palette that is different than the smaller one I showed at the beginning of the video. So that smaller palette has two clamps on it that keep the lid on. And I've noticed over time that those clamps don't really work that well. And my paints get dry regardless of whether the clamps are on all the way or not. And it's kind of frustrating because I have to soak those little paint things in water a lot to reactivate the palette. But the clamps on this palette are a little different because there's four instead of two. So it keeps the lid really snug. And they also added this like foam lid to like really lock in the moisture. So you're only going to see two paintings in this video, but I've been using this palette more than just these two paintings after filming this and the paints have stayed wet. It's beautiful. I'm so happy with it. I do spray it with water to keep them wet though, as it's open while I'm using it. And that has helped a lot. So I just wanted to give that little tidbit of info in case it helps somebody out there. So we're starting another picture here and I want to get better at painting people, especially like more gesturally. I notice that when I paint people, I get really tight handed. So what better way to practice than to dive into this in my sketchbook? Before I did YouTube, I actually painted and drew people quite a bit. And once I started doing YouTube, I just started having other interests and I wanted to dive into those as well. And now my interests are just kind of all over the place, but it does feel comforting to dive back into portraits every now and then. I know I am not the best at anatomy. That's why I usually stick with portraits but I want to get better at human anatomy as well. So yeah, I'm hoping that I continue to do that in my sketchbook. So I do have a critique that I want to talk about with this palette, and that is in regards to the color selection. So first of all, I just want to say I am very impressed with the selection of purples that they have. That is something I've always been nitpicky about is I feel like a lot of art supplies kind of include purple as an afterthought, but there are very good purples in this palette and they're beautiful. <laughs> now, something that I wish they included more of would be browns because I'm looking at the swatch card right now and there's burnt umber and there's ochre and that's pretty much all the brown and I noticed that when I was painting too and I feel like I don't know for as many like pinks that this palette has there's tons of like reds and pinks they could have omitted a couple of those and maybe included a couple different types of brown um, that would have been really awesome for making more skin tones and uh, yeah. So that's pretty much the only critique I would really say. I wish this palette would change, but aside from that, this paint was really good, especially for the price. And I can't wait to continue using this in my sketchbook. Sorry I didn't talk about this portrait much, but I really enjoyed creating it and I hope it was fun for you to watch. And yeah, I hope this review was helpful for you. And let me know if you created anything while you were watching. All right.
Alrighty, well we finished painting and I love this set of 56 colors. And I have to say that this swatch card here is super accurate to what the colors actually are. This little palette made me so happy and I can't believe that like this and, well, I actually started mixing colors on the page too. And I really liked that effect. I don't know, it just looks like kind of messy and colorful and fun. Also, if this helps anybody out there, I got my reference photos from Pexels. And I always say Pexels and Pixabay have amazing royalty-free photos that you can use. So if you ever need like a reference photo, but you're afraid of like copyright stuff, totally check out those sites. I can link those below too. If you want me to use these again in another video, let me know down below and perhaps I'll bring it back on occasion. I definitely think this one was my favorite because I pushed myself and it was a person from a different angle and it was just so fun playing with color and yeah. I wanna get better at painting people. I feel like I'm holding some like colorful appetizer tray, like liquid jelly bean juice. If you made it this far, comment the words liquid jelly bean juice down below. And then I'll try to reply to everybody with a gold star. Unless you defeat me, and you always do, because there usually ends up being too many comments from the secret games in my videos and then you guys win. So yeah, it's like an extra win. Thank you so much for watching. It was fun hanging out with you. I hope you enjoyed this and have a beautiful day. Bye.